The message is quite clear. Do not come. Uh, the border is closed. The border is secure. The terror watch list numbers have been shooting through the roof. Take a look at this graphic. In fiscal year 2023 so far, uh, Border Patrol has arrested at least 151 people on the FBI's terror watch list. That is the highest number ever recorded. It's also higher than the last six years combined. And that is a huge concern when you talk about the known gotaways. If we can pull this graphic up here, CBP sources telling us since President Biden first came into office, there have been well over 1.5 million known gotaways who have slipped into our country without capture. Those are people they see on cameras or sensors, but Border Patrol just doesn't have the manpower to go out there and apprehend them. And just to put that number in perspective for you, that's a population size bigger than the city of Dallas, Texas, sneaking into our country without capture. I can tell you for over two years now, Border Patrol agents have been telling us they've got extreme concerns about who is crossing our southern border, primarily because so many agents have been pulled off the front lines to instead focus on processing and that then leaves gaps in our border where we simply have nobody out on patrol and the numbers are startling. We also got some brand new internal CBP data leaked to us this morning from CBP sources. If we can pull this graphic up, uh, this data showing that thousands of so-called special interest aliens have been arrested by Border Patrol while crossing at our southern border illegally over the last two years. These special interest countries are what the federal government determines countries or, or uh, conditions that favor terrorism or could potentially pose a threat to the United States. But you can see these countries, thousands from Afghanistan, more than 600 from Iran, more than 160 from Lebanon, the home of Hezbollah, more than 500 people from Syria, the home of ISIS, more than 130 from Yemen, home of the Houthi rebels. And former Border Patrol Chief Rodney Scott, who served under both President Trump and President Biden says when Border Patrol agents encounter these people, they basically have no way of knowing who they are. Take a listen. An open border allowing anybody to come in is a national security threat. This administration keeps wanting to talk about we're vetting people coming in. That's just simply not true. We have very little information on the, the people across this entire globe. And to elaborate on that point, Border Patrol sources tell us that they simply have little to zero way of vetting these people from these so-called special interest countries. I'm told unless they've got a criminal record in the United States already or they're on some sort of federal watch list, there's no way for Border Patrol to find out about any possible criminal record. That's because these home countries that they're coming from, mostly in the Middle East, they don't share their records or their data with the United States. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Um, so on the home front, over 150 people who are on the terrorist watch list have been seized along the southern border this fiscal year. And we've reported that there's been a hundred, over 1.5 million known gotaways since the Biden administration took office. Is this something the American people should be worried about right now? We continue to remain vigilant about terrorist threats to the homeland from anywhere. It is something that we are very much working on that we are consulting with the Congress on, that we are seeking to secure the necessary resources to continue to work through. And any time we see any threat stream involving a terrorist threat to the homeland, we mobilize every asset and resource of the U.S. government to go after that. Sure, sure, sure.